win the game without knowing the rules. Hello, my dearest friends. Svetlana Shlapak, the founder of UKVisaSuccess.com, is here. Can you really win the game without knowing the rules? You can't. And that is precisely my point. Unless you are at the same page with the decision maker who is reaching a decision on your visa application, your chances for success are very vague. And that is precisely why I've created uh, this Know the Rules to Win the Game uh, video series where I'll be deconstructing all major UK immigration categories. There will be overview videos giving you all major rules about uh, relevant categories so that you can see exactly what the decision makers look at uh, when they consider your applications. And if after watching this video you want some more information, please do check my website and also the description area of this video. Uh, there I'll be giving you information regarding the next free webinar, which I host in order to help you understand various aspects of UK immigration law. Please help uh, me help others by liking, sharing this video and subscribing to my channel. For those of you who already done this, thank you so much for your continued support. I really, really appreciate this. So uh, let us deconstruct the next immigration category. Uh, the immigration requirements for indefinitely to remain applicants of those who um, are partners of British citizens uh, are not that different from uh, the previous um, applications uh, and where they are, I'll just draw your particular attention to that. Uh, there are, it consists of four requirements. The first one, you have to make sure that you are in the UK. Number two, you have made a valid indefinitely to remain application. Uh, the uh, valid indefinitely to remain application, all this means is that you uh, follow the correct procedure, which is always uh, the same. Uh, if you make the application, you have to uh, satisfy um, uh, five, uh, five, five things. Uh, let me open this for you now. Okay, so you have to make sure that you are completing the correct form. If you are submitting your application on the form which is out of date or uh, on the completely different form, uh, then uh, the application will be uh, rejected and it will be returned to you. You have to make sure that you pay the fee and uh, once again um, my friends I would like to draw attention to the fact that uh, the uh, failure to pay the fee uh, normally happens not because people uh, forget to complete uh, the payment page but because for some reason uh, the home office fails to uh, get the uh, uh, fail to complete the financial transaction for whatever reason it can be th th there may be a problem with the credit card it can be expired lost or stolen and therefore I always strongly suggest to everyone who makes an application especially as important as in definitely to remain uh, make uh, their payment by postal order. Uh, then, of course, you have to uh, include all the documents uh, with the application form. Uh, all the documents will need to be original documents. Uh, and if you're submitting any copies, you have to properly explain as to why. And if you, these documents are not in English language, you have to submit a certified translation of that document together with the original document as well. Uh, then by matrix, uh, and you have to send it to the correct, correct place, which is fine because uh, at the application for form, they always tell you where to send it. Uh, then you have to meet all the suitability requirements. I have identified 20 suitability requirements, and uh, I will not go, I'm, I'm not going to list them here, but uh, what I suggest you do, um, you have to, uh, I strongly suggest that you check them. Uh, all you have to do, you just have to click the link below and uh, request this information, which we, uh, which I'll send to you uh, absolutely free. Um, then we have the eligibility requirements. Uh, the eligibility requirements uh, now, uh, it consists of five elements. Remember, there were four elements before. Now we have this additional residence requirement. Uh, the relationship requirement remains pretty much the same. And if you are making the indefinite lift domain application, chances are that you have already satisfied this. The English language requirements, again, it uh, remains pretty much the same apart from two places. Number one, you have to now uh, pass life in the UK test and uh, I, it's very important to understand that uh, 
even if you have the master's degree uh, from the uh, university here in the UK or uh, an equivalent of such and you are from the majority of English speaking country you still have to pass the life in the UK test you still have to show that you understand uh, very well as to uh, how you understand the life in the UK test and um, um, just from the practical point of view do not waste your time uh, on on first of all do not assume that you know everything uh, which is going to be asked I, I remember reading uh, an article saying that the majority of uh, uh, Brits uh, who uh, took the test uh, they failed it because they do ask it's it's a very interesting question a, a very interesting book and I I, I suggest that you start reading it it's it's not a very big one because you'll find lots of very interesting and exciting things about England. Um, I personally passed the test and um, it, it is uh, very simple and straightforward. Um, and then you have to also show your English uh, level of English language at the level of at least B1. Uh, remember it was A1 uh, before and now there it, it went up to B1. So please make sure that you've passed uh, it at least to that level. Financial requirements. Uh, uh, Again, pretty much the same, a minimum gross income of at least 18,600 and hopefully it is much easier uh, for you uh, as a family to pass this test now, minimum income requirement test, because uh, now you and your partner are allowed to work. The And here, this is the difference. Remember, we had uh, this formula, we had to... Um, I take at least sixteen thousand pounds plus uh, the amount of shortfall and multiplied by two point five. Here we don't need to um, uh, to multiply it. Um, let me show you how this works. Let's say you are um, in receipt you as a family and fifteen thousand pounds. So the shortfall, the amount of shortfall is um, so uh, three thousand six hundred pounds. All you have to do now, um, before we had to uh, multiply 3,600, uh, 3, 3, we had to multiply by 2.5. Now all we have to do is just, we have to add 16,000 pounds. And this is the amount you need to show, the amount of savings you need to show when making your indefinite leave to remain application. Uh, so this is, in a sense, it's much easier now if you only uh, had to rely on savings. And uh, that is, of course, uh, if uh, you uh, do not belong to the exempt category. And if you're in receipt of uh, any benefits, which are uh, health-related benefits, please pause this video and check if any of this applies to you. If, if it does, then you are exempt from meeting the minimum income requirement. And the uh, accommodation requirement remains the same. You have to make sure that you are in the position to adequately accommodate um, your spouse. Then immigration requirements, they are the same. So you need to be uh, here not as a visitor. Uh, the, 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 it's, it's highly unlikely that you will be able to make an indefinite leave to remain application unless you had, they, they have specifically said that you have to have a whole, uh, to, to have a leave to remain here as a partner of British citizen. So this one doesn't apply. Uh, you, you, you should not be here on temporary admission and you should not be in a uh, breach of immigration rules unless uh, the exemptions apply. What is new here in the indefinite leave to remain application? Uh, you have to meet that, you have to show that you meet the residence requirements. It consists of uh, two parts. So it all depends on um, how your previous application was granted. So for example, if you followed the uh, normal route, you entered the UK as a partner of a British citizen, you were granted uh, leave to remain here for two and a half years, and and then it was further extended for two and a half years. Then you just follow the uh, the straightforward five year route. Sixty months is five years, and uh, all you have to show you have to show that you resided in the UK for at least five years, and your last grant uh, was uh, as a uh, as a partner of a British citizen. Uh, here, the uh, ten year route. Normally, what happens, and those who made their previous application for further leave to remain as a spouse, but they were unable to meet uh, one of uh, the eligibility requirements and uh, they proved that paragraph EX1 applied, then uh, normally they would be sent via the tenure route. So they would be asked to stay here for longer in order to prove uh, that uh, they, 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 uh, they're eligible. 
and uh, that is the only difference and of course you have to make sure that you uh, prove to the decision maker that you are not on the stay for longer than the permitted period of time so remember uh, all we have here all uh, that is different is this residence requirement you have to prove that you are here uh, on the leave uh, uh, as a partner for at least five years uh, if it was a straightforward application if um, in the previous application you proved that uh, paragraph ex1 uh, one of the exceptions applied because you were uh, unable to you 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 were not able to meet one of the eligibility requirements then uh, you would be sent via the tiny route so you need to prove that you remain here in the uk as a partner of a british citizen for at least 10 years here we have uh, the life in the uk test uh, added the level of english language um, is increased to b1 and here we don't and need to multiply it by 2.5 and this is the only difference and if you're thinking of making your indefinite leave to remain application best of luck with, the, with this with this and i hope that this video helped you uh, clarify the position further